Hello YouTube and welcome to your 8th Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial I will be covering methods. Now you've heard me talk a lot about methods in my previous tutorials and now I'm going to explain to you what they are. So go ahead and create a new project, a Windows Forms application and click OK. Name it Methods. Now I'm going to resize the form a little bit and add a button. Just resize it some. We'll set the text to method and then we'll set the name to button method message. Okay, now we'll start coding. What so what a method is is it's pretty much a block of code that is stored inside your program that you can call upon whenever you want to do a certain set of uh instructions or code whenever you want without having to retype all the code. So we'll go ahead and create a method up here in the public class. So we'll start off by naming it private sub and then we'll just say we'll call it hello world and then put these parentheses right here. So you don't really know what private sub you don't really have to know what that means right now. We'll cover it later on. But private just means that it can for now I'll just say that it means that um it ensures that your method can't be called by anything other than the user clicking the button. I'll just say that for now and I'll go more in depth into it later. And then sub means that it will not return a value. So private sub hello world and then all of our code goes in between private sub and in sub so in here we'll just do message box dot show or hold on let's make it a little more complicated so let's just do dim name as my name as a string and we'll set it equal to and let's just go up here and add a text box and we'll set the name to your name text your name so dim your name as string and we'll set it to equal we'll set it equal to text your name dot text dot to string and then down below it we'll just do message box dot show and then hello Okay, so now we have our method written, and I'll explain it in a second. So let's come down to the method that handles button.click, and we'll call our method. So just type in hello world, and then two parentheses. Now we'll go ahead and run it. I'll just type in my name, and then when I click on that, it says hello Sam. Now I'll come back in here and explain the code. So basically what we did is inside of the public class, which is the main class for the program, we um, said that we're going to create a method, it's private, and it will not return a value, and we named it hello world. And inside of our method, we declared my name as a string, and we set it equal to the text that is in here, and we converted it to a string just in case the user types in a number. Then we said message box dot show hello and then we use the and sign as you remember from earlier tutorials to add an integer to the same line and it'll show up in the message box. And then in sub just ends the method and then when the method is called on only these two lines will be um, will be used all the stuff in between private sub and in sub and then down here 
in the button.click event handler method we just typed in hello world and two parentheses which means use this method that we've created um, when this button is clicked so when I type in my name and click this button you get a message box that says hello Sam so look at this code um, figure out how it works and practice it yourself and once you have that down go ahead and move on to the next tutorial thanks for watching and please subscribe